African insurance in the spotlight, a better approach to publishing customer complaints, and the true risk of equity funds. I'm Sarah Bassett, and this is Risk SA TV News, coming to you from the AIO conference in Tunisia. We spent the week at the largest gathering of African insurance and reinsurers, joining more than a thousand delegates in Tunisia. Attendees came in from all across the continent and as far afield as Brazil, Russia, the Bahamas and India. This year's conference carried the theme African insurance in the face of mass events, with discussions focused on political risk, the threat of infectious disease, natural catastrophes and cyber risk. But ultimately, the meat of the conference hasn't been in the presentation hall, but rather in every corner of the Tolasso Resort Hotel. The conference had the feel of an intra-African Lloyd's Market, with the rush of well-dressed people whirring constantly as they buzz from meeting to meeting. In every corner available, stands line the lobby and outside areas, and people have packed schedules using every moment they can. It's the top opportunity to meet the African market without racking up dozens of air miles. Risk Africa TV, in association with SSP, was on hand to catch all the week's action. For more on the biggest industry event on the continent, catch the complete series of interviews on riskafrica.com. The Association of Savings and Investments South Africa reported that investors have thrown caution to the wind in the first three months of this year. The moving of billions of rands into high-risk equity collective investment schemes has been dubbed risky. The association has warned that investors might be gambling more than they think. Luca Bracca has more. Leon Comfort, CEO of the CISA, says that many investors still believe that they can time the market in their favor and end up making emotional investment decisions based on fear or greed. With the new surge into equity-only unit trusts, Comfort calls for patience. What we noticed in the unit trust statistics is that there was, by historical standards, quite a big inflow into general equity funds. So the comment we made was that we sincerely hope that people that are now going into general equity funds are not doing it because they think they can time the market. We hope that they are taking at least a five to eight year view and that they will remain there throughout whatever cycles come because that's how you actually uh, make money. Comfort adds that investors should remember that proper diversification is critical. Luca Vrikka, Risk SA TV News, Cape Town. The Ombudsman for Long-Term Insurance published its complaints reports for the previous year. The Ombud has noted that there are improvements where complaints handling is concerned, but he says that more still needs to be done. Francis Bailey reports. Risk SA spoke to Walter van Amerva, CEO of Fed Group Life, to get their take on the Ombud's approach to transparency. While the long-term Ombud publishes the annual complaints figures along with the names of the companies involved, Van der Merwe believes there is a better way to tackle the issue. For me, a better approach on the Ombudsman side would be to engage those product providers more specifically around the complaints that have come from their company or that relates to their product. This will allow them to, if it's a procedural matter, to address that procedural matter. What I've found is often it's the individuals within the company that deal with those complaints. They need to be the right type of people to fully engage the, the complainant and understand their view regarding the complaint before it gets escalated to the ombudsman. With that, it's over to Angelique Edwards for this week's events. In events this week, the industry looks forward to the upcoming FIA Awards on the 4th of June at the Santon Convention Centre. The Johannesburg leg of Insurance Bootcamp is sold out. If you've missed the cutoff, make sure to register for our live online broadcast. Once registered, you will receive a URL that will enable you to watch the seminar live from the comfort of your boardroom. There will also be a question and answer facility. Visit insurancebootcamp.co.za for more information. T's and C's apply. Don those furry leg warmers and neon glow-in-the-dark tank tops for the IIG's Midwinter Rave that's being held on the 11th of June at Movida in Johannesburg. Make sure to diarize the ICOX charity auction on the 20th of June at the Cape Point Vineyards. 
Happy birthday to the following industry people, Michael McCann, who is celebrating on Friday, and the awesome Cloda from Hollard, whose birthday is on Monday. Join in on the conversation by following us on Twitter and Facebook. That's it from me for this week's Events Roundup.